Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ari. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello, hi, my name is Ari and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a thrift haul because I went thrifting and I want to show you what I got. Also, I'm back in front of my old, old background from like 2018 that I haven't used in forever and I have grown and I'm not too tall for it, but look. It goes down there too, but you can't see it. This piece of hair will be the death of me. I swear to God. Anyways, I mostly got shoes and then I got one pair of pants and I got a jacket and I got some sunglasses and I also got a blanket that I'm gonna use for something, but that's kind of irrelevant, so I'm not gonna include it. So without further ado, let's jump into the shoes. The first pair of shoes that I got is... No more. No more bangs. First pair of shoes I got is probably my favorite and they're these combat boots with freaking sparkles on them. So they're kind of like a plasticky material and I don't remember how much these cost to be honest because the tag was on the bottom and it rubbed off. They're kind of that like plasticky material that a lot of my other boots are. They're kind of, you know, I could probably polish them a bit. But they're just normal black combat boots, kind of look like Doc Martens except for Doc Martens are real leather black laces. Instead of like where Doc Martens would have the yellow stitching, it has sequins, which I'm so obsessed with. Isn't that cute? It does have a pink scuff on it, but I can get that off. So that was my first item that I got and also my favorite item that I got and I've been wearing these constantly. All right, the next thing I got is more glitter and it is these kind of combat boots. They're kind of weird because they look like combat boots, but the top is like wider. I guess like that looks like a combat boot, but that looks weird. But these were from the kids section. They were $7.99. All this is from Savers, by the way. These you can see probably need a little bit of cleaning. They're a little dusty. Um, but yeah, these were from the kids section. I normally don't fit in kids shoes because I'm 18 and I also have kind of big feet, but these fit me. So I'm hoping that when I wear them, they'll look like combat boots and not like little booties that a child will wear. But I have a lot of stuff that's like this color clothing wise. Also. Thank you, Ghost Killer Entertainment, for sending me this shirt. I'll link them in the description. It says Roaring Twenties. It's really cute. It has a little heart monster. Anyways, I have a ton of clothes that's this turquoise color because it's like my third favorite color. But I also have a lot of shirts, like specifically Sleeping With Siren shirts, that have a darker blue on them that I don't want to like mat like mix shades. So I was like, okay, I'll get the blue boots so that I have something to match with my Sleeping With Siren shirts that are all blue. Okay, so these aren't necessarily super fashionable, but... I found them, so I bought them. They are not Heelys. They're not Heelys. We're, we're not rich enough to buy Heelys. They are spinners, apparently. And they're really difficult to ride because they have two sets of wheels in them. So you can't like go how you do on Heelys and like slide on your heel because it's like, it's hard to explain. I did actually get a video of me attempting to ride these for the first time. Uh, so I'll insert that here, I guess. I hope you like the Johnny Gilbert music that's playing. Um, I have a bunny onesie. It has a hood. Give me a minute. And today I bought these shoes. Give me another minute. Oh, they have wheels on them. Okay. I'm doing I can't do it. Before I move on with shoes, I also got this jacket and oh, allow me to put it on. So it's one of these jackets that has like the little sweatshirt layer and it has a hood, but then it's mostly a leather jacket, but you can zip them up separately. And I was wearing this exact same jacket. Like literally they were identical except for the tags that a different brand. And then when I had, the leather had started ripping, well, the pleather had started ripping on the armpits and like falling off. So I got this because like <laughs> it was exactly what I already wanted and already had but it wasn't ripped so yeah. Also I feel like this jacket makes me look like a lesbian and I like that because then boys don't hit on me and girls don't hit on me. The last pair of shoes I got also in the children's section were these. So I have shoes really really similar to this. If you've watched my shoe haul video where I, sh not shoe haul, my shoe collection video link that in the description of all my shoes. You'll remember that I have shoes basically identical to this, but those have holes in the bottom of them. So it kind of sucks to wear them, especially in Utah, because 
in the winter spring and fall the ground is always wet so yeah they're just they're like kept in really nice condition and then these were only $5.99 so they actually have the zip on the outside instead of the inside which is kind of weird but it makes it easy because you don't have to tie and untie them every time that you put them on and then it has again like a pleather stitching vibe you know what I mean with the stitching see look stitches pleather pleather stitching so this was my old pair so they're basically the same except for this one has a zipper on both sides and this one also has holes in the bottom. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have not tried these on yet. They were $8, and they're the only pair of pants I got in this thrift haul. I have a whole other thrift haul I need to film. In this thrift haul, they're the only pair of pants I got because I have so many pants from the other thrift haul, but they're these pants with the little lines on the knees and thighs. And I know that people say that like boys who wear these pants, like there's TikToks making fun of them, but hey, when I was, 14 and I was at like a treatment school there was this guy he's probably a, like a really racist in hindsight um but he was funny and cool and yeah I definitely racist actually but he always wore pants like this and I thought they were so cute and I always wanted them and then everyone was like those pants are ugly and then I found them and I bought them because <laughs> and I bought them because they're cute and I bought them in black because I don't wear like I don't want them in the normal color those are like country jeans but i feel like they're cool like they can be edgy jeans if they're black okay and then the last two things that i got first one is sunglasses these how much were these these were 2.99 i haven't taken the tags off anything and they're pink so like you know i don't know they're my favorite color i can't see anything because i don't have my glasses on i don't know if i want to keep them like this or if i want to like pop the lenses out you know and wear them like pink glasses comment down below and let me know what you think i should do I think I'm leaning towards popping the lenses out. Do you think that would be cute if I could wear these? I have to wear my contacts, obviously, so I could see, but like, I think these would be really cute if I popped the lenses out. And the very last thing that I got, I really want to put it on my head and show you, but I need to wash it first because that's gross. It's this cute pinkish purple hat, and it has ears on it! Like, here, I'm already wearing a hat, so we're just going to pretend like I'm not already wearing a hat. I can't do this. This is, <laughs> this is difficult. Anyway, imagine, imagine... <laughs> Let me fold it. Let me fold it. That might help. Let me just... <laughs> it looks like I am wearing two hats, which I... Anyway, imagine that it's it looks normal because I'm not wearing two hats. Ears. Now I have to wash both my hats. I feel like the camera has moved throughout this video. Has it moved? Or am I just... Anyway, that is all of the things I got thrifted. This is kind of a shorter video. I'm hoping that I can make this into a 10 minute video. Uh, yeah, it was just a few things, but I thought, you know what, why not come on here and make a haul video, get an excuse to do my hair and my makeup. Also about my hair, it's so faded. And that's on purpose. I'm trying to fade it, but like, it's so faded and I hate it. Like, this is what my hair looked like before. And now it's like this and the ends of this are almost completely white which is good like that's the goal but then the purple side's not fading very well there's a raccoon tail in there um but yeah i'm trying to fade my hair because i really want to dye it again but i don't want to just bleach the crap out of it but i'm probably going to another thing about my hair um i had light brown hair like i had brown hair all growing up and then i started dyeing my hair and so i always said like oh yeah i don't even know what color my real hair is under all this dye but I assumed that it didn't change, but it did change because look at my root. They're so dark. Like, I don't know. It just freaks me out to look at them because I don't remember my hair being that dark. That's like dark, dark brown, like brown, black. Yeah, but the plan is to do um, like pink my bangs, which usually I wear down, but I can't because this piece of hair is messing everything up. But anyways, my bangs that are usually here would are gonna be bright pink and then it's gonna go purple blue green ombre and I think it's gonna be cute and then I'm gonna keep underneath my bangs black how it is right now see this is how I wanted to wear my hair today well better than that but this piece of hair refuses to just go with my bangs where it's supposed to go and then I also want to put raccoon tails I'm thinking I want to put them right in the front on both sides but then I'm also like I don't know, so maybe I should do them like where this one is, kind of along the back. Comment 
comment what you think. Anyways, now that I've inserted a rant in this into this video, every video has to have at least one rant or it's not an Ari Grace video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and so that I know you like this type of video so I can make more of this type of video. Also, if you want to subscribe, that would mean a lot. I'm trying to reach 2K by the end of the year. What am I talking about? My goal for the year is 9K. I don't know why I'm saying 2K. And of course, I will link playlists and similar videos in the description and at the end of the video where there's the end screen, there will be similar videos to this. So if you want to see more of my videos, I have a lot of outfit videos like haul clothing haul videos lots of just like clothing and outfit videos in general most of them are like emo scene based so if you want to see those links in the description or you could just like click on my channel and they show up but yeah if you want to watch a couple more of my videos to help me get more watch time then i can get monetized and then i can make money and then i'll be less poor and then i can bleach my hair i think that's all the self-promotion that i have for the this outro so thank you for enduring that i love you guys so much i'll see you on the streets stay safe don't get covid don't jump off anything too tall or in front of a train and peace out bye